I'm here to talk about doing adjustment layers and some quick fixes in Elements 11. Elements 11 does not have the power of Photoshop. However, there are some very nice features in here. I have a couple of photos here. They're old scans of photos taken many years ago at the Grand Canyon. I want to fix them up quickly. So I'm on this layer here. I'm going to duplicate it first. I always do that just so that if I mess it up, I can go back to the original. I like using the Auto Smart Fix, the Control Shift L. Now, please note I'm on the Expert tab at the top. Elements 11 has changed a few things here. They all are still essentially the same features. The context sensitive things with the items in here are shown down below now, um, not at the top, and they're a little bit more obvious. Now, I want to talk about doing some adjustment layers. I click on this little circle up here. And you don't have as many um, adjustment layers with elements that you do with Photoshop. I'm going to work with a couple of them. I'm going to do the brightness contrast. Uh, it doesn't invade it. You can see a new window popping up there. I can make it a little darker if I want, increase the contrast if I want. Just slide it back, go back here. And if I shut it off, I can click on the X here, and I shut the eyeball off. It now puts a cross through the eyeball, okay? Uh, so you have that here. I'm going to click over here. I'm going to add another one here. We have the levels here, and I can go and play with the RGB. You can break this down where I can go into the red. See, it, it, it tints the whole thing. Red, green, go back and forth. Blue, go back here, do it slowly. I'm doing this a little quickly. So I'm going to kind of like keep that as a one. And then I could shrink this back. Um, I could reset this here. I could change this now into, let's say, hue saturation. I have a new layer here. Okay, I have that there. Now you can go with it. You don't want to colorize unless you're trying to do a monochrome. Some people may want to do that. I'm going to click on the colorize. I can go over here. I can also do all the colors, which is nice. Reds. You see it a little bit. I'm going to go into the saturation. Yellows. Some colors work better. It depends on what is in in here, yellows, greens. I'm getting greener in the uh, front area here, which is very nice. I'm going to do cyan. Cyans won't do a lot. A little bit for the sky. I'll pull it over a little bit. Blues. Magentas. And let's see if there's any more layers we can do here. Click on this little doodad here. Um, we could do a photo filter. That just like tints the whole thing here. Invert you don't want to do. Posterize. I'm not crazy about this here. I have four levels here. You could turn it into a poster. Uh, I go over here. And if I don't want, I close this out. I just right click in here and I delete the layer. And I say yes. Um, what it does not do in here, you do not get a curves adjustment layer. This has always been one of my favorites. Make sure you go to the correct layer. You can't do a curve up here. So if I go to enhance, I go into adjust color, adjust color curves, and it shows different things here before and after on the left and the right. You can see a few things showing up there. Solarize, definitely not that unless you're trying to do out of space. 
and you don't you can't click on this dial here but you go over here and you get try to see what it does as you move these little things here so you got that that's really not an improvement at all I'm trying to show something that just shows a little bit more drama here okay we could say we like that this would have to be done every time because you can put these layers which you'll see in a minute into another one here so we've got that here you could shut off these other adjustment layers here and you might decide you like this this or that turn it back on you gotta look carefully at these things here it puts a line through the eye here um, so what you're doing here I'm just shutting everything off at this point this is the original this is the, with the um, curves plus the auto smart fix we go up here add this the beauty of this is that you can now fix it I double click in here and then I could just go and play with this a little more so let's say I kind of like this a little richer close this out so let's say I like this this is the beauty here I've got this other image here I'm going to duplicate it control shift L I go into this one here now I hold down the control key click on these three things here I click and just literally drag it into here it's doing it. these both have the same line taken at the same angle um, you may have to tweak this a little bit um, you could go into here and then you could change things in here just a little bit if you want to and again I don't have the curves in here uh, you will find this to be a time saver if you're trying to do a touch-up of a large batch of photos where you have a few adjustment layers you can drag into your photo if you're going to get really involved I would strongly suggest using the Photoshop I know it costs a lot more it has considerably more power